Here's how you can make this neon text animation here in After Effects. Let's go and click on New Composition, rename it as Neon. I gotta go with 1080p, 4 seconds, black background, click OK. I gotta go and select the Type tool, type in whatever we want, press the letter S and scale it up. I gotta go and align it into the center and also make sure that the anchor point here is in the center. So I gotta press and hold Control and double click on the pen behind and the anchor point is gonna jump into the center. Now we're gonna activate the 3D here. If you don't have this option, you can go to toggle switch and it's going to hide and show up these settings again. Let's go here and make sure to change it to advanced 3D. Now I gotta go to the geometric options. Let's go to extrusion depth and I'm gonna increase it to 15 or 16. Let's go and change the color of the text. I'm gonna go to the fill and I'm gonna change it to black. Click OK. And as you can see, it's going to disappear. But we're gonna add the bevel. So I'm gonna collapse the text layer, open it up again. Let's go to animate and go to the bevel, select the color and RGB. I'm gonna change the bevel color to white. Click OK, scroll down. Go to the bevel styles and change it to angular. And I'm gonna decrease the bevel depth to make it nice and thin. I'm gonna go with 0, 04. Now we're gonna need to rotate this 360 degree angle. So let's go to the Y rotation, activate the stopwatch. I'm gonna bring the time indicator somewhere here and type into the 0, 01. So this way it's gonna rotate 360 degree angles and make sure to bring this keyframe all the way to the end. So this way it is going to loop it. Now scroll up, collapse the font layer, right click on the text layer, pre-comp, type in text, click OK. And now you only can see the text rotating without the extrusion. So we're gonna go to the layer, layer styles and select the stroke. So this is going to highlight all the extrusion as well. I gotta go to the stroke, change the color to white, click OK. And here you can increase the stroke thickness. Let's collapse it. Right click here, go to new, select adjustment layer, rename it as color. And let's go to the FX and presets, type in tint and drag and drop the tint on the color. And here we're gonna change up the color of the tint. I'm gonna go with some toxic green, click okay. Now right click here again, go to new. Let's make another adjustment layer. Rename this as glow. And let's go to the FX and presets, type in glow drag and drop the glow on the glow layer. And here we're gonna make it glowy. So I'm gonna go to the glow threshold and I'm gonna decrease it to 30-ish. Glow radius, I'm gonna decrease it to nine. And the glow intensity, I'm gonna go all the way up, somewhere around seven right now. And I'm gonna select the glow, press Control D to duplicate. And I'm gonna go to the glow number two. And I'm gonna go and increase the glow threshold all the way to 100%. The glow radius is gonna be 46, 45. And I'm gonna decrease the glow intensity all the way down to 1.6. Press Control D again. Let's go to the glow number three. I'm gonna decrease the glow threshold to 60. The glow radius is gonna be 160. And I'm gonna decrease the intensity a little bit more. I'm also gonna scroll up and modify here the glow radius, decrease it a little bit more, intensity. And here you can modify all these settings to get some decent results. So these are the final settings here. And this is how the animation looks like. And not at least, I'm gonna go here, right click new, adjustment layer, rename it as noise. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in grain, drag and drop, add grain on the noise. And here we're gonna go to preview, final output, and select the preset. I gotta go with the fourth one. And this is how the final results looks like. Thanks for watching.